Nachma Meyuman, the Kutait Filis Feyiftiyin, a person who wishes to taste the hidden light, the secrets of Torah which will be revealed in the future, must first free himself of all fears except the fear of God. Not only ye must we fear God because of his power to punish, we must also strive to reach a higher level of fear where we are in awe of God for his supreme greatness, the path by which this level of awe is attained is a one of constant self-examination and self-judgment. We must set aside special times for introspection and evaluate all our involvements and behavior and get advance the yardstick of the Torah because people who neglect to judge themselves are judged by heaven and may be sent all kinds of worldly fears and worries in order to goad and chastise them. But when a person judges himself, the need for such heavenly prompting is eliminated as he himself he has taken the initiative to bring himself to, uh, closer to God. He thus becomes free of mundane fears and stands in true of God's greatness. One who reaches this level of awareness is able to, to attain understanding of the revealed Torah, where it requires... Humility through humility, one can come close, come to play, true prayer. Through humility, one can come to true prayer. Instead of praying for one's own needs, one rises above materialistic interests, surrendering oneself to God. God in himself is beyond all knowledge, but the words of the prayers, which are woven from divine names and attributes, and attributes are God-given screens through which we are able to gaze at his light when a person prays with total surrender. Render. God gives him a glimpse of the secrets of the Torah, which will be revealed in the future. Nanach, nachmo, 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 may you want, may be your will, Hashem our God and God of our fathers, great, mighty, Yahweh, awesome God, great, mighty, ah, great, mighty, ah, awesome God, whose fear and awe are upon all the dwellers of heaven, on all the seraphim, the, the oifanim, and the holy chayes, and upon all the worlds and all creatures above and below. All will quake and tremble in awe of your name, loving in God. Have pity on me, sad, pathetic creature that I am. Fill me with holy awe of you at all times. Let the fear of God be on my face so that I will not sin. Let me feel all of you in all my limbs. Please, Hashem, loving, merciful God, don't let me lose my eternal reward. Don't let me, don't let all my efforts come to nothing and bear no fruits. Help me to examine myself constantly. Yeah, and reflect carefully on what I am doing in this fleeting world. Let me think about my path in life. Let me evaluate everything I do every day and every moment. Let me always ask myself whether I am behaving the way I ought to or not, so that I will take myself in hand and repent for my wrongful thoughts and behavior. Let me genuinely turn from evil in thoughts, word and deed, and do only what is good in your eyes at all times. Please, Hashem, have mercy on me. I take pity on me, see how low, how low I have fallen, see how low I have fallen, I'm in terrible trouble, worse than someone adrift at sea, and when lying in the most dangerous place on the boat, I have no idea where I should run, where I should fly to try to escape from my inner torment, I have no idea how to cry out to you, for years now I've been calling to you to steer your love, to, st to stir your love and mercy and release me from my evil thoughts and ways so as to bring me out of my darkness to goodness and light. I through your truth tzaddikim nanach nach monach mom yuman. You have taught us that prayer helps us in everything. Helps in everything. You have taught us that prayer helps in everything. Prayer is the basis for all true closeness to, to you. Prayer is the basis for for all true closeness to you, you hear all prayers, no matter whose. You even listen to a cry from the belly of hell and the lowest depths. Then why will you not attend to the words of your servant who has been standing and crying out to you for such a long time? Not only have I failed to improve my behavior day by day, every day my spiritual state is worse than it was the day before. I simply don't know what method I should use to try to bring only power into myself in order to fight and conquer my evil urge and break and remove my high desires. There's 
only one way I can escape from my urges and save myself from hell through prayers and supplications, cries and screams. But even this I find impossible. How can someone as persecuted, beaten about and manhandled as I have been come to true prayer? I have no option but to cry out and pray to the best of my ability. But even, but if even this does not help, God forbid, I don't know what I can do to escape. Master of the world, I know the truth. I myself I am the guilty one, this sin is mine, a master, because I don't try to fight my desires for even a brief moment. In fact, I encourage them, not only have I made no effort to grapple with my desires and remove them, I'm a I've actively embraced them, God help me to stop doing so from now on, but I've already asked you to help me with this, aha, uh -huh, I begged you to have mercy and save me from my very self, let me stop being so cruel to my poor soul, let me have pity on myself. No one is more pathetic than a person who is far away from you and still unable to come close to you. This you know well, or oh, this you well know. Hashem, my God, healer of the sick, who releases those who are in bondage and supports those who have fallen, and who hears the cry of the destitute. Have mercy on me, don't abandon me, don't throw me away. See how low I've fallen. See my bitter plight, but I know that my Redeemer is alive and that from a distance you are planning to benefit me in the end and release me from my exile. Answer me, Hashem, answer me, help me, help me, save me, save me, have compassion and save me from destruction. Have help me, repent of and sincerely and come to perfect tshuva. Let me walk the path of your statutes and observe your laws. Help me to judge myself, help me to achieve a state of calm, concentration every day day so that I will be able to examine myself carefully and weigh my various activities and involvements for myself. Let me decide if it is right for me to spend my days acting the way I do. God forbid. Let me decide if, it's, if it is right for me to spend my days acting the way I do. God forbid. Help me to sustain my concentration for long enough to be able to examine myself calmly without allowing my thoughts to wander or avoiding what I have to confront. Let me follow this practice of calm self-examination persistently and diligently until I develop the most intense powers of concentration. Let me then use them to direct myself away from all wrongful thoughts and actions without hesitating for a moment. Let me repent completely and come to do only good. Bring me to perfect fear of heaven so that I will fear this glorious awesome name, Hashem our God. Let my fear of God be pure and clear without being mixed up with extraneous fears. Let me fear only God. Deal with me kindly and sweeten and nullify all severe decrees against me, my children and descendants and the entire Jewish people. Don't judge me according to my actions. Don't bring me to trial because no one alive can be vindicated before you, loving God. Decree that any possible accusations against me should be null and void so as to rule out all harsh judgments against me. God forbid help me to examine. Oh, help me to examine and judge myself at all times so that I myself would take the initiative to repent genuinely until I will eventually come to live and act the way you want. Oh, me to save me from all extraneous fallen fears, whether of officials and other influential people of or of wild animals, thieves, or anything else in the world. Let my, me only fear and revere you and let that your fear be oh, on my face at all times so as not to sin. Let me elevate my fear to its root and das, holy knowledge and awareness of Hashem. Help me attain complete knowledge and awareness of you and holiness and purity so that I will know who I am afraid of and fear only your great name. Let holy Aha penetrate every part, every part of my entire body. Let holy Yah penetrate every part of my entire body. My 248 limbs and my 365 sinews. Let me be filled with true fear and awe of your great and holy name at every point, at every moment, and lovingly bring me to genuine perfect das in holiness and purity. Hashem God, you know how minimal and distorted my awareness of you is. My evil deeds, my foul thoughts, and confused ideas have corrupted my mind. I have reached a point where I simply do not know how 
to work out the best course for me to take in any sphere of life. Loving God, treat me tenderly and mercifully and grant me perfect holy das. Let me know your name and I'll always fear you and bring me to the higher level of holy fear. All at your supreme greatness, help me labor. At your holy Torah, constantly day and night, open my mind and let my eyes see the light of your Torah. Grant me a clear, pure intellect with which to study your holy Torah. Give me a, a rapid grasp of everything I study. Let nothing in the world have any power to distract me and throw me off course during my study sessions. Whether irrelevant thoughts or fantasies about the vain pleasures of this world or confused and distorted ideas about my studies themselves and how to approach them, help me fight off all all such distractions and confusions while studying. Let me rapidly cover plenty of ground with clear understanding. Let me start and finish all the books of the Holy Torah. Bo -wo 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 -wo. Both the written and the oral Torah. Both the, both the written and the oral Torah. And go through them again and again many times. Hashem loving God, you know the powerful distractions and mental confusion. I suffer from constantly, especially when studying. Until now, I have never once managed to study with a clear head for even a brief moment all day and even when I'm studying my mind is in turmoil and with an endless succession of thousands upon thousands of twisted and confused thoughts and feelings I have no idea where to run to escape them Hashem you know Hashem God you know how disjointed I how disjointed my thought I will know how disjointed my thoughts are I've damaged my mind so much for years and years Now my thoughts just go everywhere My mind wanders along Every avenue of folly, more confusion and evil I cannot possibly go into all the details If I wanted to describe even a tiny fraction of the turmoil in my mind It would take forever The truth is not nach nachmo Nachmo miyuman I've given much good advice about how to escape such thoughts By just sitting passively without pursuing them further But I have neglected their teachings and done the very opposite I have thrown away all the good advice you have revealed and continue to reveal through various hints as to how to escape to escape mental confusion and turmoil I've made no effort to follow any of it my mind is so confused that even when I want to fight my evil thoughts and keep your advice and keep to your advice I am no longer capable of keeping calm and concentrating on holy thoughts for even a short time Hashem God loving Father in Heaven you are filled with love and kindness every single moment you know how far I am from purity of thought and holy knowledge my years have been wasted on vanity emptiness, confusion, I've had nothing but evil, corrupt thoughts the whole time, in my entire life I've never had even a single hour of true inner calm and concentration my sins and immorality have left my mind turbulent and confused I have no idea how to heal myself and go about cultivating truly holy knowledge and awareness because I have failed in all the pathways of holy knowledge, please Hashem have mercy on me, I pity on my poor, exhausted, weak, hungry thirsty soul, which has Descended to such a level of degradation, you all, you alone know the true pathos, the true pathos of our condition. At this time of deep exile, as we await the coming of Mashiach, the dimensions of our spiritual tragedy cannot begin to be described. It is impossible to express even a tiny fraction of our troubles in words. Heavenly Father, be kind to us and help us. Heavenly Father, I have no idea what to say and how I can placate you, seeing that I've rejected your profound God and rebelled against you so much Master of the world, you know that regarded, that regardless of anything I might say to you or ask of you if I have any hopes of speedy salvation, the only thing I can depend on is the power of the true tzaddikim. You have sent us tzaddikim in every generation, and in this generation too. You have sent us awesomely great tzaddikim. I have nothing to rely on except their strength, and so let your great love and compassion for me be aroused. I am under continuous attack. I've fallen so low. I'm in such pain. My heart is so stricken. Loving God, help me through the power of the truth. Sadiqim in their merits and in their merit. You might help me fight against all my evil thoughts and develop perfect knowledge and awareness of God in holiness and purity. Help me study and ponder your holy Torah constantly day and night. Let my thoughts and intellect be cleansed and purified until they are free of all waste. Let my mind 
mind, to be sharp and alert, and help me gain a true, clear grasp of whatever subject I am studying quickly and without my having to pour over it at all. Bring me to true meekness and humility. Let me never be swayed by the least hint of pride or by false motives, even when you help me. And enable me to learn much Torah. Don't let me take any of the credit for myself. Don't allow my Torah studies to lead me into arrogance. Let me learn much Torah for its own sake. In holiness, purity, and true humility. Oh, help me study, teach God, practice, and fulfill all your Torah teachings in love, loving God. Bring me to true prayer throughout the day. Let me always pray in the proper way, truthfully and sincerely. Arouse my feelings until I pour out my heart to you. In prayer and supplication, help me bring all the goodness concealed within my inner good points out into, into the light. Let me draw the words of my prayers and supplications from the very depths of my heart until the goodness concealed within me will be revealed and the good will outweigh the evil, enabling me to subdue my evil side and remove it completely. Bring me from evil to good, from darkness to great light. Help me pray with complete surrender until I lose all sense of my own independent existence, until I lose my sense, until I lose all sense of my own independence. Independent, existence and material being Let me not pray for my own benefit Help me to rise beyond All the limitations All the limitations of my of self As if I am not in the world At all Let my only aim in my prayers be for the sake of your name To lift up the divine presence From the exile and reveal your godliness Throughout the world Loving God you have already begun to reveal yourself In the world to the world Through the true tzaddikim You have taught us to offer you to offer you songs and praises, prayers and supplications. You have sustained us by teaching us your holy names and attributes, thereby permitting us to address, to address you and call on upon you. This is the only support we have all in our hopes of drawing close to you. Permitting us to address you and call upon you. This is the only support we have in our hopes of drawing close to you with all our hearts and knowing you now to help all of us in every generation. Help every Jew, including me, through the title that I study. Give me all the understanding and help me offer you constant songs, praises, prayers, and supplications all the days of my life. Let me pray with perfect sincerity, with faith, complete calm, with faith. With faith, complete calm and full concentration, guide me toward the truth so that I will call to you and address you in fitting terms and my requests and praises will find favor before you and arouse your love and goodwill from now on bring me genuinely close to you and lavish me with kindness from your treasury of goodness my eyes are hanging on you waiting for you to bring me to true prayer help me to immerse myself in constant prayer until I come to grasp the true secrets of the Torah and I will have a taste of the hidden light which you are going to reveal to the true tzaddikim to the true tzaddikim in the future na 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 the innermost secrets of the Torah. Let me gaze upon the pleasantness of Hashem and contemplate in His sanctuary. Master of all, kind, loving God, grant that I should attain such a level of Torah and fervent prayer that even in this world I will be worthy of a taste of the hidden light that is concealed and stored away for those who fear you as it is written. How great is your goodness that you have, hope, that you have hidden away for those that fear you and have made for those have how great is your goodness that you have hidden away for those that fear you and have made for those who have taken who, who take refuge in you against the sons of man Hashem you are good and benevolent to all no you know that there is no true good in the world except to turn from evil and to do good to genuinely subject ourselves to the tighter and divine service with complete sincerity at all times until we are granted a taste of the hidden light. Even in this world, this is the true and enduring good. Deal with me mercifully and grant that I should taste your true goodness. He lifts up the lowly from the dust. He will raise up the destitute from the trash heap. Be kind to me, elevate me, and, sa and satisfy me with your goodness. Show me the radiance of your glory and grant me eternal life from now and Forever, amen, Salah. Nanach, nach, munach, mom,
Nanach Nachmo, Nachmo Meyuma, Nanach Nachmo, Nachmo Meyuma.